let us carry on with our uh, playthrough. So, so far we have only um, solved three identities. Um, last off, what's up? My screen looks weird. Oh, I think it's just like the effect. So yeah, last time we was left off on this guy. This guy got hung and shot and we worked out that this guy, yeah, you, You've always forgotten almost every detail. Good job, Deathwish. Good job. So, yeah, we, we traced, like, the bullet lines, and we worked out that this guy, I think that was Henry, was his name. Um, he's the one that shot this dude here, who had something to do with the these kind of guards. <laughs> All right, so... Let's move on. I guess we're going to find the fate of this guy next. Interestingly. You are the best at the room, Deathwish. It's fair, fair to say. Alright, so let's find out. Well, we know where his, his body is. It's not like we have to uh, surmise about anything. Uh, also, I made a comment. Actually, I'll, I'll talk about this in a moment because we're going to believe we'll probably get to a cutscene. I can't remember. No, we get to press it. All right, so I made a comment in the last episode saying um, I... I know, but I kind of got used to this style of Death Wish, if I'm honest. Um, I made a comment in the last episode saying that I'd read somewhere or heard that every single person on the ship had suffers a different fate. Now... I've been going through this in my head a bit since like, I've been off off stream. And I kind of believe that while what happens to everybody is like completely unique, I think they can have like the same thing because I think we're going to see multiple people shot, multiple people crushed and and etc cetera, etc. Cetera. So I'm just going to keep that in my back back of my my mind for now that um it may be the case that although we've already used say um someone's been shot with a gun that may actually happen again anyway time to find out this person hello who is there who is that is someone hurt senor Nichols. is that you what are you doing down here? Oh, hello, yes. All fine here. Just uh, sorting some things. Watch, watch your step. Here, let me help you. Okay. So this guy here... is Senor Nichols. Um, this guy here. Okay. Yeah, they're just hugging it out. So that's the guy. Oh, wait. Hold on. So it looks like he's been... He's not dead at this... Ooh. That seems important. So it seems like what's happened is, I get the impression, this guy here has been, he's not dead there, he's just been knocked out, right? And then he's got the blame for killing the other people. <laughs> All right, so, who is this? And how did he die? Well, I can't actually... I can't see. So, this guy here... Oh. Alright, that's right. That's fine. So, others were present. This guy here... So, this is... Edward Nichols. Uh, 
unless we have another with the same name elsewhere. Okay, so that guy is Edward Nichols, second mate. Now we got him last time because he the fire the guy who was ordering the firing squad um, said his name. But we don't know we don't know. Alright, so yeah, I don't think this guy here is dead right now. This is the guy that was hung, and I think he has been so he was it looks like he's out here guarding whatever's in this room. So maybe this is whoever he's protecting in this photo here. Maybe this is their kind of like jewels and stuff. Yeah, well. Yeah, well, that's the guy that was hanging. And then this is the guy. He is. I don't know if it's in this picture. Is he in this picture? He's the guy that's like laid here, Deathwish. So yeah, he's killed down here and then moved over to here. Um, I'm guessing he's going to have been stabbed with a knife, right? I mean, I can't particularly see. There's no real good angle as to what he's actually doing here. There was no gunshot, so I can only assume he's been stabbed. seem to make sense <laughs> but I can't I can't physically see yeah knifed All right, I'm going to go knife for him for now. Now, he was knifed by Edward Nichols. We don't know his name yet. All right. All right, we're going to go with that for now. We're going to go for that. Okay. Is that the end of the murder? It is. So it happened around about the Canary Islands. Yeah, you see, we still don't know who this guy is here. And we haven't confirmed these guys' identities either. All right. I think we've dealt with that guy, haven't we? I think. We got some body parts here. Okay. Let's see. Oh wow, he's constipated.
Oh. Well. So this is a painter. This is some sort of artist. Okay. Seems like they're kind of becoming aware that something is attacking the ship. Something's already happened to this guy. Oh, wow. Really didn't give me a lot of time there to investigate everything, did it? The doom on the bow. Well, ES has got to be the artist, right? So... Edward Spratt, I would assume. Yeah, okay, so, question is, did he die by being crushed? That's all we can assume at the minute, because we don't have any other facts. The thing is, if he was crushed... Where is... Why can we only kind of like see his head? I, I don't know. Okay, so this dude looks like a prisoner. Yeah. Alright, this dude's a prisoner. Who's in here? That looks like a body in there, does it not? Or is it just somebody sleeping? I guess it's people sleeping in the hammocks. Which probably explains why everybody's like around here and getting crushed and stuff by um, when things start happening. There's a 45 on there. I wonder why that's... Um, if that has any relevance. But yeah, he looks like a prisoner, that dude. Um... Which is... Hmm. That's first mate steward. He's definitely being crushed. But I think he's got some sort of... I kind of, really, I kind of wish there was like a crouch key. Is there no crouch key? Be, it could be a good point. It could be a valid point, Deathwish. He could be number 45 on the list. It's a, a, valid, a valid point. Um...
And I'm guessing some of these aren't right because obviously we've got it said it, it validates in threes. And we've got three three more now. Alright, so possibly something's not right. I mean, does this guy... So I don't smell true. We've been going only for about 20 minutes so far. If that. Oh, I know. That would be just be torture. Switch is always broken on a smell tree. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Welcome along. Let me on. Over my dead body, you bloody day. Three's from Denmark. There's no cards for trouble, boys. Get in the boat. Or I forget. You killed my brother. What? That was an accident. The robes. It wasn't his fault. I saw the whole thing. Nice. Oh, I shouldn't have waited so long. No, don't. <laughs> All right, so he's a Dane, and he has a brother. Where are these guys off to? Doesn't look like there's anything else to. There's nobody else around. All right, so. I know Twitch made a change quite some time ago um, so that you don't. If you haven't. Uh, clicked on an email link for a while they've basically stopped sending emails but I've not had emails for anybody for like a freaking absolute age all right so we're looking for people from Denmark so it could be Lars okay so he's got he's this guy's Lars and uh, it looks like he was clubbed by somebody with a brother so we're looking for brothers. Is there a bottle? All right, I'm not sure at the minute. Um, oh, Peters, here we go. So we have Samuel and Nathan Peters. All right, so he's gonna be, 
if if this is the way he died, he was killed by one of these people. SPS. Who knew I SPS Deathwish? So Okay. Are you talking about the artist? I don't know. Uh, I, I don't know that I'm following you. So the, the artist's name was ES, which was the initials. Two seconds, guys. All right, guys, back. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, sorry. I don't know what the the initials, the SP initials. Uh, like I say, it was EP, uh, ES. Sorry, which is the name of the artist, Edward Spratt, um, and he was the only one with ES uh, initials. Deathwish. When I went through the list. So, all right. So the brothers we know are. What did I go do? Um, I had to go and turn a heater off in my playroom because I got uh, it's been on to dry some plaster on the walls. I had the walls plastered, and then I went to uh, empty the washing machine because it was beeping. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's one of these two, Nathan or Samuel. We don't know which one um, at the minute. So we'll leave that one for now. Where's this guy? Is that that guy? Okay, so his face is unblurred, so that means we should already know the identity of the attacker, if I remember rightly, from like the tutorial and stuff. Um, okay, well, maybe we can kind of guess. We can make an assumption. Maybe that's why it's unblurred. I mean... Yes! We've got another three! Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo! -hoo -hoo. That was right. Excellent. All right. We are 10% of the way through, guys. <laughs> Excellent. All right. So let's have a look now at what we've got listed here. So I don't know what happened, I don't know what happened. Oh, that we still don't know who he was killed by. All right, so we're all right, we're all right at the minute. We're all right at the minute. All right, so we can now deduce from that that um, Samuel Peters. So he's Nathan Peters, right? That's right, isn't it? Nathan Peters. Is that guy there? Okay. So Samuel Peters, it sounds like, was crushed by rope. But we can't... Um, we can't put that at the minute. So let me just do... Make a note. Nathan... Peters was crushed by rope. How do I get crushed by rope? Because if we look at the in 
information. Um, was it the Doom? If we look at the dialogue for this, this look, right, we know that. Um, here, look. thought you'd forget. You thought I'd forget. You killed my brother. Um, what? That was an accident. The ropes. So something happened to Nathan with the ropes. Maybe not. Cr yeah, maybe not um, crushed by the ropes, but something happened with the ropes. Is what we can deduce from that. All right, so we're done here for now. So we know who he is. All right, let's move on. Excuse me. Wow, there's a lot of stuff going on here. Seven wayward souls disappeared during the events of this chapter. Their fates are catalogued here. Well, it looks like these guys... Looks like they, they're alive and they escaped somewhere. But we don't know where. Yeah, that, actually, that's a good call, Deathwish. That might be that dude. That could be the dude. Can you remember what chapter that... I'm, I'm, I'm asking you, I know. But can you remember what chapter that is at all? Two. Wasn't it around... No, wasn't it part eight? So he was crushed. That's locked in. Was it part of the escape? <sighs> um, right, it's one of these guys over here though, isn't it? Was it this guy? Or... Let's recheck this guy. So that's the guy that was like literally ripped from limb by limb by limb. Is it this guy? This guy.
This guy's got the rope around him here. Hold on, this guy, right? He stood with all the captains. So, he's gotta be one of these, surely. I can't really, I can't really go on anything though. come back and find this dude later. in here. That dude was surely crushed by a cannon. Bunk 44. That's the artist. Have we seen this dude? Oh yeah, that's the dude that got knifed. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yep, I remember him. Alright, have we been below deck? Did we go below deck? Ah, yes, yeah, so the workshop was down here, wasn't it? As he did, people. You and me both, buddy. You and me both. What's this all about? Take him to the conference. Petter here. One swing. Get true to skull in stone of brain. I'll cut her throat when you've done it. Here? Yeah. Come on before she kicks off. <laughs> 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 Some Irish dudes cut the cow's You're throat. Right there, sir. But never been on a farm, John. Find your shoes now.
this dude then is Charlie. I guess, because he's spewing. Monkey. Okay, what's happening here then? Interesting. That's the... Okay, that's the other guard. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, so... A bitter cold. A large cow is slaughtered for its meat. Okay, so... Which one... This dude here... So he's there. This dude. So we've got Charles. Two Charles. So it could be one of two. They are talking about, though, at one point they're talking about um, the carpenters, right? And. So, I don't know. Yeah, taken to the carpenters, getting wrapped and see to the last rites. You reckon the midshipman one? Is that because we're literally on the midship? Hmm. Yeah, there's quite a few of us present here. So yeah, these this this guy here. So, the guy that was killed was... Oh, he's not on the list anymore, is he? I don't think... Do they disappear off the list once they... I think they do. Yeah, so he was... Hoxen Lan. Formosan royalty. Okay, so they're Formosan. Um, yeah, it's not like they're... I just wondered if like there was two of the Formosan people had... The same last name. I have no idea which one of those sounds like a male or female name. All right, let's see if we can find out what's going on with this guy. Mm. 
So I'm guessing this guy's corpse is going to have moved post-mortem. So yeah, it looks like he's been tied up of some description. Well, same as the other fellow. Some lung disease, lung consumption. Made worse by the cold. Will it spread? If so, we'd all have it. They must have picked it up at the Alaska house. I checked all hands just now, and everyone is healthy. And him? <laughs> what are his chances? I gave him some laudanum. We'll see. So he looks like a doctor. Yep, he's one of the mates. So don't know who this guy is. What's going on, Eddie? So, we would like to say that they were died from illness, but we don't know because the doctor says. I don't know, is that, is it like a tincture? It's a, I, I don't know, I, I don't really, very good with medical terms and things. So who's, where is that guy in the picture? Is there anybody else hanging out around the back here? All right, use the painkiller. Thank you. So yeah, um, I don't know if that could be classed as being poisoned. This dude here, uh, where is he? So he is a doctor. So I'm going to put him as the surgeon for now. Just don't know if he's the third or the fourth mate. That dude there. Let's look at the... Don't want that. The sketch. Hmm. 
All right, so he could be the other, looking at his hat, he could be the other mate. So he's got the first and second mates. But whether he's, I don't know about those two at the minute. All right, anyway. All right. I'm going to stick with him as a surgeon for now, just for the time being. I'm just going to stay right here. But I have to follow you. I have to follow you. Really? Russian? I could so fifty-four. It's not like um So he's saying Saeed get up, right? He's telling him to drink something. So I've got to drink in his hand though, he's got a lantern, so. See, that first, okay, so I think that is, this first line here is misleading. Maybe the, these two. Yeah, okay, so these two guys here, the first two are, I, wanted, I originally said Russian, I'm now thinking Greek looking at the lettering. Um, but Okay, so these two lines relate to the people who are playing cards. And then this here, this last line relates to these people over here. So the, yeah, they they don't they don't relate to these people here. Okay, so um, I'm gonna say that this guy name is Said. Okay, so these are Indian people. So I'm just looking through the the other kind of nationalities and things here. Um, it's not Russian. Oh, sorry. You mean the? Uh, I assume you mean like the the latter. Uh, the latter text, this this last one here. So that puts these guys as Indians. Um, we don't know how he's dying though. Um, I mean, we would just assume at the minute he is... dying of an illness which is why they potentially wrapped him up so 
asked why they potentially wrapped him up post mortem. I think I didn't check. Yeah, and that makes sense. So you were spot on, Deathwish, about the numbers on the bunks. Number fifty-four. You was absolutely spot on. Good, good linking there, mate. Good linking indeed. So. Yeah, we can't really name any anybody else around here at the minute, and it's not worth um, it's not worth trying. Well, it, it makes sense, you know, it made sense. It's a very good observation. So we're saying tragic illness again. Um, all right, so these, this guy is another Indian guy. It seems. Have you seen the death in seven two yet? You mean the one where the artist is absolutely crushed? Yes, we 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 saw it. Okay, so I love the way his legs like in the air. That's just great. All right, where to next then? Hold on, didn't I? I think I said saw at the end of the stream last time out. Wasn't there a body? Wasn't there a body down one of these passageways? So this is the armory. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure there's a body down here, isn't there? Could go all the way around for this one though. I'm not sure I checked it out because I think it was coming to the end of the stream. I said I would do it next time. So somebody's dripping blood. It looks like whoever it is. Oh my god, what the hell is that? What the freaking hell? Oh my goodness. the freaking hell sort of beast did they uncover on this adventure? It's like a giant spider. What? What on earth?
So somebody... That guy there... Is that a freaking crap? I'm used to Eddie's way. <laughs> I know what it is. It's not a crab. It's not a spider. It's it's just freaking hell. I don't know what the hell that is. But this guy gets shot by that guy there. So this guy was shot. By gun. Obviously, they're getting stuff from the armory. That's Mr. Wolfman. This guy's dead. This guy's been impaled. I've got you. Don't move. I'll get you down. Still, like, really unsure as to what sort of freaking voyage these people were on. Oh, he's been... Wait. So this thing has fired some spikes or something. So he's been spiked. It looks like he's been spiked. All right. Spiked by a terrible beast. Don't know who he is yet, though. All right. Protecting the lazarette, right? That's what somebody said in the previous one that we saw. The thing is, though, right? If that's all happened... Why are they throwing water on it almost like to 
keep the thing alive. That's what it looks like he's doing. It's almost like he's throwing water on it to keep it alive, even though it's been stabbed. It's some freaking spider crab hybrid thing, that's for sure. So this is moments before. Something's already happened to this guy. I wonder if that guy was spiked initially and then he was shot. Yeah, look, he's, he's pulled the spike out here. So he was spiked and then he went around there for cover. Another one of these things then attacks from down here. And he gets caught in the crossfire and is shot by one of the crew. Mate, I haven't stuck around long enough to find how out how many legs. Of course, leave me on a wild goose chase. So that's what this big puddle of blood is. I thought that man, this is a big pile of blood for like some humans, but this is probably the beast. Blood from the beast. Oh, the beast is still here, look. <laughs> yeah, that's got a lot of legs, Deathwish. I think it's, it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, it's got a lot of legs. All right, let's um. Oh, they burn in it. That's why he's throwing water. He's throwing water because it was on fire. Right. Makes sense. So I think that's the surgeon. That guy's already been spiked. He's been spiked against the wall, which we know about. This guy is just reaching in, trying to freaking stab it. So this guy here, he dies from fire. He's burned. He's bringing the gun. He looks like he's already wounded. And these guys, yeah, they're fighting another one all the way over here. Jeez. Carnage, man. Carnage. All right. Excuse me. So I don't know who they are, but they burned. seen him before. Modern day Disney Cruise. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, he's on fire. Did he burn to death though? Because he's been spiked as well. Although, we've seen though, that although people are being spiked, they're not dying instantly. The other thing is, though, he, he could potentially be being like sort of killed by a sword as well. Hmm. Both of these guys.
Oh man. What the hell? What? These guys were decapitated. Were they strangled or decap decapitated? Holy shit. Sorry, language. Well, he's in trouble because he's about to get freaking spiked. Or maybe not. He might be safe. Let's say, think, yeah. The trajectory of that spike isn't going to, um, isn't going to touch him. But I know, right? That's what I just thought. When I first saw that, I thought it looked like somebody was actually on top of this. On top of that guy. So, I don't know who they are, but I guess they were clawed by a terrible beast. That's the guy that shoots the other guy. That's the wolf bloke. That's the wolf. I'm sure that's the guy that looks like the guy who's like accidentally killed the other dude. Yeah, he's been clawed, but yeah, Jesus, like seriously. The hell? It's like Aquaman riding like stuff. That's the dude that's crawling on the outside, I believe. <coughs> Excuse me. So we came up here first. Look like from here though, there's multiple ways I could there's multiple things I could have gone to to look at. This is all, there is so much to take in. It's crazy.
Again, though, it looks like he was... A demon. Beat quarters, enemy aboard. What's going on? See, is this the same conversation? So he was an apprentice to somebody. Let's look at the manifest. So we had a topman called Nicholas. But he's saying, come on, boss. Who's he who's his boss? And also, is is that the person making this statement here actually speaking to our guy that's actually... Is, is he actually speaking to the guy who's succumbed the fate? That I do not know. So... There's another one there. Holy crap. How did I not see that? This guy looked like he was speared. One thing I will say is it's kind of annoying following that thing because you know where it's going. So it's just freaking delaying. There are people on there, man. Seriously, look. What the hell? They are people. Or some form of enemies riding these beasts. Holy crap. Well, I guess the chapter's called Soldiers of the Sea, so... It makes sense. Um, all right, so. So he was speared by an enemy. These are clearly the, this is clearly the enemy, right?
Hey, we're going to have a look and see what this acrobat is all about. Jeez. Oh man, he was electrocuted. This dude got electrocuted. I think it's pretty apparent how he was. No, I didn't choose that. Well, he can't be struck. <laughs> well, I can't see it be anything else. He could have technically died from the fall, but... See, yeah, technically he could have fallen from the rig into his death. He was struck by lightning. It doesn't mean he was killed by the lightning. So, I'm actually going to leave it like that for now. Siri, I'm not talking to you. Uh, I'll leave it like that for now. That he fell to his death. Doesn't give They're just about to be attacked right there as you can see. That thing is climbing on the ship. There's one there and there's one there. So yeah, they were just at the point of attack as they were um, they were just at the point of attack right there. It's creepy as hell though, man. Seriously. like another thing there but no that's how he gets set on fire this guy throws 
That guy throws the torch at him. Alright. Yeah, that's, that's the reason I came back. I just wanted to check that. Alright, so... Okay, now we can go down to the hold. Oh, jeez. Alright, so he's trying to stab. So they've stabbed him, but he's also got the gun. So yeah, he shot the beast. It looks like he's been... I want to say he's been clawed by the beast. Like, clawed by it. He's been stabbed by the person on top. So you can see the guy on top is holding the spear or whatever. So that potentially it's been killed. He's been killed by both the um, the beast and the person riding the beast, right? No, it's not been spiked, Deathwish. Spiked is is like they've got things on their backs, like these things right there, and they fire them at. Um, they've been firing them at the people, so I don't believe it's spiked. Definitely not sporked either. I don't believe sporked is a thing. Way back when. Kind of looks like I've. Interesting, that's still there. That's empty. For now. Let's just stay here, boys. Get the booze flowing.
guessing there's probably a way in there at some point. There's a lock on the door, but I'm guessing we can open it. Keep pressure here. Hold him down. What madness is this? Twenty years, my steward, had never a doubt on your sanity. Explain yourself. Those ungodly beasts carry a curse. Blow them back or doom us all. Tie him up and put him in the lazarette with those things. He may yet find his senses. Come on. All's fine, John. Been in worse spots, I think. Where's the rest of his leg? Uh... Okay, so... That confirms to me that that guy is a surgeon. I just want to know what's going on. Man, there's lots of people around here. So this must be the aftermath of the attack. They're bringing stuff down. You don't know who's talking to who, though. That's the problem. He's lost his leg. Man. he actually gets moved it looks like he may actually like bleed out hold out man it's 20 years my steward never doubt on your sanity explain yourself Godly beasts carry a curse. Throw them back or doom us all. Alright, so they've captured some of the beasts and then they've put them down in the lazarette by the sounds of it. Somebody's then saying to throw them back or we're all doomed. Um, then they're saying to tie this guy up and put him in the lazarette with those things. All's fine, John. Been in worse spots. So, John could be the fourth mate. Alright, so John's the fourth mate. So we know that the fourth mate is in this scene somewhere. That's the captain. Got him already. Did we get him yet? No. Okay. So I'm thinking he this guy here is John.
Okay. Sure, where his leg is. But yeah, I think that's John because we kind of identified the captain's hat, and then these hats are. Yeah, okay. So if that's John, this would mean. This dude here would be Martin. Now, Martin was in the scene. Now, Martin was in the scene. Where was she? Doom part eight part eight. Ah, Martin, where's the captain? So maybe not. This guy, maybe, is Martin. That guy's Martin. Is he in the current bit that we're dealing with, though? Um, yes. All right. So, I believe this dude is Martin, then. So, my... Yeah, second mate, third mate, fourth mate. So I don't know who that is. All right, well, that's what I'm going with for now. So, yeah, he's there stopping people going down. All right, so... So he was killed there and then he was moved to here.
What? That's going through his head, isn't it? He's impaled. going to be hard to see. Jeez. All right. What do we say for this one, though? Crushed? Crushed by falling cargo, I guess. That guy looks like a carpenter. A higher rating means that it will be more difficult to deduce the person's identity. Focus on easily deduced identities first, leave the more difficult ones for later. Maybe so, but... I believe he's a carpenter. Which would then mean... That dude there... Well, I've screwed it now. Ah, oh, press the wrong freaking button. This guy here looks like he's some sort of cook. And it looks like that thing has come back to life and basically... Spiked him? Speared him?
Where's that guy going? You think spiked? Yeah. I was struck by hooves. Struck by the... Struck dead by a beast hooves, right? Looks like a hoof to me. Just trying to actually deduce what's going on here. Looks like they've taken somebody on board, perhaps. All right, I'll come back to that in a minute. Looks like they've taken people on board, though. It looks like they've taken like some people on board and they're like stowing away their treasure or valuables or whatever. So these people died at the same time, potentially the same thing. What the hell is going on? What do you know about these things? About the chest and your dead friends? These two people here killed by the shell. This is just, this is blowing my mind at the minute. It was spiked, right?
So lift it out and take it by the top of the shell. Some people are already, already dead. I wonder if that's the people that are like laid down next to over here. Well, he definitely looks dead. I mean, look at his arm, man. His arm's down to the bone. She looks like she's been clawed. If you look at her face, it's almost like she's got claw marks over her face. as being a part of this. So then the doctor's there. At which point they very nearly get spiked, but this one just kind of like goes through and all the way through and gets them both. But yeah, they're, they're bringing something off the boat. The, these... They've obviously been found. I don't think this guy died with the other two. this again. So they're saying on board, right, that it was not a, they're saying it's a shell, didn't they? I think we'll leave its tail for now. Okay. Jeez, he was shot by him. What the hell is that thing? 
Oh, so that guy's already dead. He's got the treasure. Where's the woman? Sure, he's been shot by one of the guards. From where one of the Formosan guards. Where's the woman though? So maybe he went back with the Maybe he went back with the Formosan king, whatever it was. So he was shot. Shot by a gun. By this guy. So maybe he's thinking. So I get the impression like he's taken him back to his boat, which is over here. Yep. Yeah. So there's a the woman. Here's some more of them creatures. There's something there. is that so yes yeah, so what's happened I believe is he's gone out to rescue these people and this guy is the guy one of the guards yeah I know I can walk on more oh god so this one's one of the guards for these guys and he kind of knows what's going on I think he knows what's going on and he doesn't want them to bring everything on board so then he shoots this guy here. I think. So the dialogue we saw before where they were talking about each other. I think the guy is still alive. And somebody is questioning the guy. No. No. They're questioning the guard. Was the guard on the deck when all when we saw the previous? So many questions, man. Seriously. Slim. So we know her name. So they've opened something here. Um, yeah. So we know her name. Oh man, and then the guy is dragging these things on board. So this is Miss Lim. to him though so he's had his arm bitten off right something's happened to his arm so he's been potentially bitten but there's just the three of them in this scene I think but there's that thing that's shining man seriously I 
don't understand why she's not coming up though. But so this is Bunlan Lin. We don't know what's happened to her though. So now let's find out what happened to her. Don't know what happened to the, the bloke here either. Oh, but then it looks like he's had, he's like had his arm bitten off or something. So he's put his arm in there, right? She's been speared by an enemy. Oh, he's been speared by an enemy. He's hiding. So wait, where where is she? I'm confused. Oh man. Where is she? More boats here. So he hides. That person on the firing squad has been speared by an enemy. Ah. So yeah, I think she's been clawed. I, I said that before, didn't I? So she's been clawed. This guy on the firing squad. Who is... This guy. Well, I can't do anything for him just yet. See, if I had to guess, I would say this guy is the... So 
So I would say, yes. Boom. All right, so. All right, nine fates down. So, now I can pinpoint some more people. So, we now know this guy It's him. This guy is this guy. Sweet. So the guy from the firing squad, don't know his name, so I can't put fate on him just yet. He's just hiding. So what's happening to this guy here? Eaten, torn apart. I think that's right. All right. Well, this guy here. Beard. He's been knifed. Guy's been knifed, okay. This is calling, isn't it? All right, so it seems like all they're going to give us is those three people for now. That's her being clawed. I say this guy is getting speared. Do 
question is that guy's being pulled in So this guy was knifed. And he was knifed by... That dude. So this guy is talking to somebody else. So I think this guy is O'Hagan. Hmm, I'm not sure. It could be him. Or it could be him. One of them two that have been speared. Not sure. He's already dead at that point. He's being dragged off. Just right before he gets knifed. So he's been speared by this enemy here. Then he's using that sphere to untie himself. He gets a spear through the neck. At that point, the second mate decides enough's enough. I've got too much uncertainty going on at the minute, and it's driving me crazy. So they were speared by an enemy.
I mean, he looks like he's being dragged into the water, so he might drown. There's definitely someone Irish on the boat here. Yeah, so this guy here is the guy that gets dragged in here. Who is... This guy. So this guy is Russian, I believe. So he's going to be one of these guys. Hard to kind of tell at a minute. Hard to tell. Keep course due east. You reach the Canaries in three days. You packed enough stores? Aye, sir. Checked and loaded them myself. Good. Stay quiet and alert. If the wind picks up, we've no chance against the Oberdin. Shoot ya! I shut it off. This is strange news. We've got monsters. Right, so. when obviously they start coming under attack so he's speared by an enemy the Canary Islands, rowing there. They looked like they sounded like they were escaping from the Obra Dinn. It's a shame, like when you get on this screen, you can't listen back to the voice without having to like go back and relive the whole thing again. Definitely got an Irish guy there. That's the Russian guy, but we don't really know a lot, anything else about him. Um, just seems like he drowned. So yeah, he's rowing there. The enemies start to um, attack. At which point, one of them pops up at the side and pulls him in. Hmm. <laughs> So, this guy, I'm going to say he drowned.
as this guy. Although I don't know. I can't say by like names. See, he reached into there and then it's like he lost his arm. I think it was suicide. I don't really believe he was torn apart. I'm not really sure what to put for him at the minute. Okay. Now, I wanted to go back down here because there was the carpenter. Was it this one? Might have been this one. Keep pressure here. Wasn't that one? Is it this one? wasn't this one. Oh, where was the... See the problem now. Where was the death where the carpenter was? There's so much going on down here, though. So I guess what's happened is they've taken that shell or whatever they've taken and then these beasts are like rising to take back the treasure or, or whatever it is that they've taken.
So now I'm lost. Alright, so I don't think this is the carpenter, I think this is the carpenter's apprentice. He says mate. He says come on boss. So it's that one, okay. So. Where's that exactly? See, he's... Oh, I'm here, so I want to be the other end of the ship. Okay. Just realised, yeah. Okay. It is this one. Keep pressure here. that way. So... This one.
much as this one. So I'm saying this guy here is the carpenter. Let's swap these round. We got three more boys. Excellent. We are 20% of the way. We are 20%. All right. All right, well, I think that's probably as good a place as any to call it a day for today. We have solved a total of nine fates and identities tonight, so good progress. Um, still a long way to go, though. Still a very long way to go. Thank you very much, everybody, for tuning in. I appreciate the support and uh, you joining me tonight. As always, links and everything are on screen. Go check them out if you would like. Uh, we'll be back streaming on Saturday night, I believe. Uh, carrying on with the Oberdin. But until then, I've been Knock. You've been awesome. See ya.